from walking and manifesting into the power of God. If there anybody in the stadium who is saying all I need is Jesus and not the religion, give somebody a high five. Holler to that person, religion stinks. Religion stings, and even right now, as I'm preaching, we all still have problems because you are wondering how you are going to rewrite that. The devil is a liar, the grace of God is so sufficient. Someone say, I've been anointed for the revolution, and you cannot walk in the revolution until you are willing to substitute faith with the insight. What we have been having all this time is the size of what the religion sucked us in but can I talk to someone who is saying man of God I feel like I'm standing in the right place where I need to rewrite my faith and substitute my faith now with the insight as I move from the religion to the spirituality because religion is not spiritual religion is not Christianity so this is when the individual say I'm now ready to substitute faith with the insight because the insight is better than the sight if I can just get in my mind and get what I feel and what is is registered in my mind if I can just see the vision that is going on in my mind and believe in that vision then I'm ready to begin a revolution can I say something powerful revolutionizers are not ordinary people they are extraordinary people and the ace people are always crazy people you cannot walk along with a revolutionizer if you are not a crazy person praise the name of the living God still broke but I will trust Jesus still hungry but I will trust Jesus jobless but I will trust Jesus religion stinks ladies and gentlemen and it's on this particular day that a woman someone say a woman may God bless all the women I feel like preaching and we are going to close where we have read this is my text today it takes a woman to change what was in the Old Testament it was an abomination for a woman who was experiencing the bleeding to show up before anybody the woman was supposed to be placed into the closet and not to show up in the midst of people but what they did not know the time for the law had gone and it is the time for Jesus time for the grace time for the spiritual praise the name of God the hiding of the woman with the issue of blood was what was is what was what was in the religion praise the name of God so Jesus Jesus is busy in the ministry as it was his custom preaching the gospel and healing the sick and this woman catches the revelation and says there is no way I can continue to suffer in the religion what did they teach you baby what did they teach you what did did they tell you in your religion I say what did they teach you in that small place your mama used to tell you what did they teach you it was the teaching that was the wrong and now the 
woman is suffering. Praise the name of God. Can I say something powerful? Religious people loves when you are suffering. Religious people loves when you are helpless. But if you can open your eyes and substitute your faith with the sight, something is getting ready to happen. Some healing is getting ready to break forth. Some breakthrough is getting ready to break forth. Don't be coming to the service and you are not ready to receive. Cannot preach the spiritual people and not the religious people. I don't care the name of your religion. I don't care the name of your church. Cannot preach this thing the way I feel it. Preach Shadrach, preach. The name of your church does not define your destiny. It's the name of Jesus. The Bible says when he was able to harm him, he was given the name above all other names. Not the name of the prophet. Not the name of that leader. But the name of Jesus. And the woman with the issue of blood said to help with your religion you keep on hiding me and you ain't gonna help me if that is Jesus who is healing the sick he can stop the issue of the blood so whatever you say you say but I'm going after Jesus can I pick this thing the way I feel it give your neighbor high five tell your neighbor neighbor if you can't help me my face if you can't stop my bleeding get out of my face if you can't help me out of my problem get out of my face I'm going to the only man who can change my situation and his name is Jesus and the Bible says immediately somebody say immediately she packed the hem of the robe of Jesus the bleeding stopped I came here to tell you your bleeding will stop if you are willing to fight out of your religion praise the name of God Jesus said who touched me who touched me and the disciples say what does you do know? what do you mean someone touched you there are so many people here what Jesus was talking about was I feel some healing power just left me and the woman thought she gonna be killed she said Jesus it is I according to Leviticus no woman with the issue of blood was allowed to come in the midst of people but when Jesus appears all that is connected to the religion has to die I came here to tell you you can't have Jesus and suffer in the religion the devil is a liar